Hey y'all, I'm Nye, this is by Nye, and welcome to the channel. I'm super excited to be back with another project for you guys. Hopefully you can incorporate it into your own bedding space or your home. We are going to jump right into the details of this very interesting and fun project. Today we are going to be making a textured piece of art on a very large canvas. This textured piece of art has been trending all over TikTok, YouTube, wherever you may have it. But we are going to jump into that today. I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm using and I'm going to show you the process of me creating my textured artwork. Um, this is my very first time so this should be fun and very interesting and um, I'm just excited to show you guys what this will look like and how you can incorporate it into your own space or bedding area. These are some of the products that I will be using today to create my textured artwork. All of these products are very inexpensive and you can find them at your local stores like Walmart, Target, the dollar store, and possibly Home Depot or Lowe's if you have that near you as well. All of these items can be found there. I am now going to be putting down my drop cloth so that I do not get any paint or dry decks on my carpet. I'd always recommend putting cloth or anything that you have handy underneath your project so you don't get any paint or anything on your rugs or your carpet. Um, I'm going to be just going for it. To be honest, this textured art is kind of just a form of expression and just trying to create something beautiful and that's really what I did I kind of just started brushing all of the dry decks on the canvas and kind of just putting it in different forms and different shapes and yeah so that's all I really did if ever you felt like you didn't really have any direction when it came to your artwork Go on Pinterest or go on Instagram or even check out some other YouTube videos where you can kind of get some ideas of what other people are doing to give you a better direction of what you can kind of do with the dry decks if you do enjoy this textured art. Um, I would just say go for it. It's I think it's much more therapeutic when you kind of just wing it. I ended up letting my artwork dry overnight so I would highly recommend that because sometimes the spackle can take a while to dry especially if you put it on there very thick and I definitely did as you can see this is the final look um, before I even start to put any acrylic paint on my canvas I absolutely love how it came out here you can see me just kind of splattering black acrylic paint over my canvas I kind of dip it in the water dip it in the acrylic paint and just kind of use my finger to kind of tap to give it a more splattered kind of look I absolutely love it I would highly recommend you guys try this texture paint even if you put it on a very smaller canvas just for some fun um, I love it I, I really really do I think it's probably one of my most favorite projects that I've done recently The paint can get messy if you are going for the splattered look. I would say be very cautious, be very careful. I had on a white hoodie and I definitely got black paint on my white hoodie. I usually wear a hoodie that has paint on it already, but you know, whatever. My mistake, but I would just recommend being cautious when doing the splattered look. So this is the more up close and personal where you can actually see the black splatter which is absolutely beautiful. I genuinely believe my artwork could be in a freaking museum, okay? This is the final look. It is going in a part of my room that's actually going to be a part of a larger project that I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to keep reminding you because it's going to be a very 
lovely project that I'm going to be presenting to everybody. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for journeying with me today. This artwork was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making this beautiful piece of art. It is going to be a part of a larger project that I am working on so that I hope I can show you very soon. Um, I'm just grateful to have you guys here as supporters and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me some feedback. And even if you want to show your textured piece of art, make sure you email or DM me and I would love to see. So I'll see you guys next week. Much love.